Hello and welcome to The Vegan Corner. I'm quite sure you already know who Freely is, and if you do, you also know that she has been supporting us since the very beginning. In fact, it is only thanks to her that thousands of people managed to find their way to our channel. However, in case you don't know who she is, you might want to have a look at her YouTube channel, because the girl is literally changing the world one video at a time, and she has been doing so for many years now. You can find the link to her channel in the description box. I've been looking for a way to thank Freely for her kindness and support for quite some time now, and the only thing I could come up with is to make a video series on her favorite foods. In this series we'll attempt not only to tackle Freely's favorite foods and to teach you how to prepare them, but we will also endeavor to make these preparations as easy and scrumptious as possible, as this is what Rotil 4 is all about, food that basically prepares itself and keeps you healthy along the way. In one of her vlogs, Freely shows a delicious looking potato rice curry, and since we actually got pretty hungry looking at it, that is the first recipe we decided to reproduce and share with you. To begin with, steam the pumpkin and the potatoes until they reach the desired level of crunch, and then dice them into small pieces. You can use any pumpkin you want for this recipe, and you can also substitute it with sweet potatoes. A lot of choices, as you can see. Now, take your favorite pan and tip in the tomato sauce, the cayenne pepper and the curry powder, and stir the ingredients to properly combine them. Any tomato sauce or passata will work for this recipe, so don't stress too much looking for unnecessary ingredients. Now bring the sauce to a boil, add in the peas and the corn, stir them in and bring to the boil once again. Basically the entire recipe revolves around steaming, boiling and stirring. No cooking degree needed. Once the sauce is back to the boil, tip in the diced potatoes and pumpkin and stir them in to complete the condiment for the rice. You don't want to stir too much during this step, or the vegetables will fall apart over thickening the sauce. At this point you can also taste the condiment and add salt if desired. Before adding the rice and stirring it in to complete the dish, add the water into the pan to thin down the condiment just a bit, so that it will better blend with the rice, creating a more scrumptious looking dish and the recipe is now complete. Minutes to put it together, healthy and packed full of flavor. Although this might look like a simple dish, this delicacy delivers a perfectly balanced and unique combination of flavors that I'm sure won't fail to impress you. For the ultimate freely inspired tasting experience, make sure to eat this dish with your favorite lettuce leaves and, if you want, some freshly squeezed lemon juice. We also want to inform you that this will not be a continuous series, as we will take our time to properly develop the other recipes of the series and share them with you as soon as we are happy with the results. If you liked today's video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before moving on and subscribe if you haven't already. Many thanks for watching!